Alright, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to reshoot the intro to this video because I lost the original file. But anyway, yeah, this is an Admiral Black and White Tube TV. We're gonna see if we can't get this thing working again. Uh, it's a Mexican built Admiral. Not sure if it matches anything American by model number or aesthetics, but looks. It's a Sensomatic 23. Ooh la la. Uh, chassis does match something American. It's a 3G5. Label here just says G5, but it's a 3G5, which does match something American. Alright, so let's power up this thing Shango style. No Variac, no Bimbo, no nothing. Check that out. Tubes are starting to glow. It's going. Ah, shit. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Uh oh. I hope that tent uh, didn't take out my H out. Alright, well that came from down here somewhere. Can't really see what could be the problem. Okay, judging from the look of the bottom of this thing, it's probably been getting wet. Which is not a good sign. Hope it's still salvageable. I already spotted a really nice rat's nest in here. So I wonder if that's actually maybe urine or something, because I don't see any signs of this thing getting wet on the top, so maybe this is just rat urine or something. Who knows? Good news, good news, and good news. Oh yeah, this thing definitely got wet. Uh, I don't think that was a rat nest. The rat's nest that was in here. Not too much garbage. I think it was just crap that got in there. Um, so I don't see any evidence of the firework show down here, which is where it seemed to be coming from. But there is this. Uh, I think it may have actually come from here. See a little dark crap over there, but I think that's probably just from the heat and the time and stuff during its use. So I wonder if this was already like that, or if maybe it got that way from a bad short somewhere. Look at this fellow right here. Oh yeah, check that out. It probably caused a fireworks show. This has been replaced as evidenced by this solder blob right here. A complete lack of a proper soldering job over here. Uh, it's not shorted though. I checked that it's not shorted. It's a Spragamex at 100, uh, 100 microfarad at 450. Alright, give this thing a good dusting with some brushes. Quite a difference. It's not perfect, but looks better this way. Um, water damage is a little bit more apparent on the top part. This kind of worries me, this yellow stuff. I thought maybe it was rust, but now I'm thinking it might just be a 50 year old flux or something. Uh, if you look at it, the actual leads where those spots are aren't corroded or anything. So I hope that's just flux. The stuff on the bottom might oops let me try and break this thing whoops let's not try and break anything stuff on the bottom I don't think that was as bad as uh, of a thing as I thought it was hang on let me try and get this stupid piece of crap out there we go 
All right, so that stuff in the bottom cleaned up pretty nice. Um, the place where this thing was at is has a cement ceiling on it, and it's been empty for years and it's deteriorating. So lots of cement dust falling on this thing, especially since the cover hasn't been on it in for years. And um, so I guess it got a little bit wet and the water dripped down to the bottom side of the board and it took some of the, you know, particles of that uh, cement dust and they deposited it in the bottom of this thing here. But it, I just brushed it off and it came out really nice. There's still some residue left, but I think that should clean up nicely with some isopropyl alcohol. And uh, not sure how everything is below the shield here. Uh, looks like it be an absolute joy to remove. I hate working with those things but I peeked in the holes in there and it looks pretty good um, but yeah not as bad as I thought it was and uh, like I said I took out the filter cap that was there and uh, maybe not as hopeless as I was thinking it was is this some kind of a breaker maybe you guys who know this a little bit more I think I've seen in some TV videos that these things are a type of breaker. There's a little adjustable coil down here, not totally sure what that is, maybe horizontal. Um, and yeah, these cans up here, these filters should, like I said last time I powered this thing, everything seemed all right. These really uh, seem to hold on a little bit better. Look at these beauties back here. Can't wait to see what those things do. There's another one right there, and another one right there. And yeah, hmm. so yeah, should I get into this or should I not? Speaker's been hooked up with some twin lead. I'm not sure if I don't think that it's in the factory. It looks like a repair somebody did. And tuner. I'm clean this thing up, but it looks alright. So yeah. It doesn't look radically different than that other tube TV I did. I noticed this one uses two individual diodes for the horizontal sink thingamajig that was bad in that other TV this just uses two diodes I'm not sure if maybe that's been replaced or if that's they eventually started using this instead here's what's left of the old tube location chart nothing out of the ordinary run of the mill type stuff somebody's hooked up the speaker with twin lead so this thing's definitely been worked on before can't tell what that says, but uh, a lot of these components on here were actually made in Mexico, and not just only with like American companies that had a set up shop in Mexico. A lot of these things were actually national. Well, I'm not too sure about this brand, but Mexico actually had a bit of a electronics industry going for it for a little while there. It all went to hell in the early '80s when the shitty government made the economy collapse and went a lot of the factories and companies that used to make electronics, national electronics companies like uh, Sonda and other type of things. Some of them are still around, still around. But yeah. If anybody has a schematic for this thing, like I said, it says chassis 3, 3J, 3G5, here it just says G5, but it's a 3G5. If anybody has that schematic, I'd really appreciate it. It would help a ton. So yeah, should I get into this thing?